Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here in Virginia, and I want to thank Chairman Aguilar and Vice Chair Liu for bringing us together, for organizing this conference, giving us the opportunity to collaborate, to strategize, and to mobilize for the year ahead. And I want to thank the entire leadership team, Leader Clyburn, DPCC Chair Joe Negus, and I will get to Susan Del Bene, our fearless DTRIP Chair, but a special thanks to Leader Jeffries for a year of skilled, steady, strong leadership throughout the mega mayhem. And yes, he is teaching me alliteration as we go. Uh, 2024 is a new year, but we face the same chaos from the House majority. This MAGA majority has managed to be both the most extreme majority in modern House history and the least productive. In 2023, only 3% of the bills the House majority passed became law. Contrast that to 2022, when Democrats were in the majority and 45% of the bills we passed became law. And it is Democrats who have provided, as Vice Chair Liu laid out, the majority of votes that avoided a default, avoided three GOP shutdowns, passed the National Defense Authorization Act, and lifted 16 million children out of poverty with an expanded child tax credit. Republicans can't count their own votes, so instead they count on us. And they're unable to rally behind anything but extremism. House Democrats are unified because we share values. We share basic core beliefs. We show up for work for the same reason, to do the best by the people who sent us to Washington to put people over politics, to grow the economy by growing the middle class, to build a country where everyone has a fair shot at success. We have an agenda that aligns with what the American people expect of their elected leaders, building safer communities by getting weapons of war off the street, lowering costs of childcare, healthcare, and housing, and making reproductive freedom the law of the land. And tonight, I am proud to be hosting a session that will be discussing just that. And I hope tomorrow morning you will join us and the women leaders of our caucus on how we will restore reproductive justice and stop the GOP's march to a national abortion ban. Because that's what the American people want leaders who will fight for freedom, a Congress that will help President Biden finish the job, not another do-nothing MAGA majority. In 2025, the People's House will get back to work for the American people. And it is a privilege to introduce the woman, the leader, who is going to make it happen, our incredibly talented and tenacious DCCC chair, Susan Delbenek. 